Okay, YouTube and all my subscribers and stuff. We're going to do a video. I see a lot of people that are confused on systems. 12 volt, 24 volt, 48 volt systems. And there's a lot of confusion of what you can get and what they're going to do with the systems. All right, so let's just go over this real quick. A 12 volt is considered a small system. 24 volt would be a medium system. And a 48 volt would be for your large system. What does that mean? <clears throat> All right. So if you have a 12 volt system, right? Let's take a quick look here. Here's my 12 volt system. A 2,000 watts, you're going to draw 200 amps. Now, if I have a 24 volt system, the same battery bank, I can go 4,000 watts to draw the same 200 amps. There's your medium, and then your large system is 48 volt. I can go 8,000 watts and draw 200 amps. So let's talk about inverters. <clears throat> People buy these 12 volt inverters. They sell you a 5,000 watt inverter, right? It's impossible to run a 5,000 watts off a 12 volt system. A 200 amp draw is about the max you want to run, and that thing's going to be cooking because it's a lot of heat, right? Because if you're drawing amps, you're producing heat. You're cabling 200 amps, you better have some big cables, right? Now, a 24 volt, 4,000 watts, still got to have the big cabling, 48 volt. You're not going to run 4,000 watts. So what are we going to look at here? So let's say you have a 2,000 watt draw, right? So you're in your house and you have 2,000 watt draw on your inverter. You've got the coffee going, your TV's on, the, the wife's got some loads on. For some stupid reason, you're drawing 2,000 watts, right? On a 12 volt system, you're drawing 200 amps. On that same 2,000 watts, if you have a 24 volt system, you're drawing 100 amps. Reality, 100 amps, okay. 200 amps, not okay. And if you have a 48 volt system, you're only drawing 50 amps. There's the advantage right there of going from 24 and 48 and 12. A 12, 2,000 watts, that's about it. So if you have a 5,000 watt inverter, you're never going to be able to use it. People buy them and they go, oh, I got a 5,000 watt inverter. Now, an inverter company is ripping you off because they know damn well it is impossible to get 5,000 watt draw off a 12 volt system. Why do they make it? Because people don't understand. They spend the money on it, and the company knows damn well there's no way possible to get that. On a 12 volt system, 2,000 watts, you're not even really going to get that. That's damn near impossible and dangerous to run that many amps on that. So realistically, on a 12 volt system, about 1,000 watts. 1,000 watts is about what you want to 100 amps, 1,000 watts. That's about the max you realistically want to draw. Maybe 1,500 watts. For the full load of it I wouldn't go any higher than that so buying an inverter that's more than 2,000 watts is just plain stupid because it's not gonna work you're never gonna get it that's it on a 24 volt and a 48 volt sure you can do it that's why people go to the 24 and 48 that's what you're talking about an efficiency being able to run some power now let's go down to 3,000 watt so you have a 3,000 watt inverter 12 volt you just failed you can't get 3,000 watts because you're going to blow your fuse, you're going to blow the inverter, you're going to your, your wiring, your cabling is not going to hold that many amps. On a 24 volt system, 150 amps. It's doable. You can do it. On a 48 volt, look at that, 75 amps to get your 3,000 watt draw. So there you go. You can you can actually have a 3,000 watt inverter and use the power on 24. On 12, nope, no way. This is what people don't explain to you and you buy these inverters and you see people do it no look let's go down now so the max power for a system maximum power on your systems so you build a system off grid and you're going 12 24 and 48 your maximum amount of power you can utilize on that system in the the biggest draws and everything a 12 volt about 2000 watts you're maxed out at 2,000 watts. On a 24 volt, it doubles. I can go to 4,000 watts to max out. 48 volt, you can go all the way up to 8,000. This is why on a big system, you see people that have 48 volt systems, because you can draw more power out of your system. We're on a 12 volt, if we have the same battery bank, right? I have the same amount of batteries. I have a 12 volt system and I have 24 batteries sitting there and I have, you know, a 48 volt system. It's the same amount of power in the batteries, but I can only take out a maximum of 2,000 watts on the 12 volt, where the 48 volt, I can go 4,000, 5,000 bigger loads. That right there, that is telling you why they're going to 24 and why they're going to 48. 
If you look at some of the inverters, look at Magnum, right? So they sell their 24 volt inverter. It's a 4,000 watt inverter. Why does Magnum put you a 4,000 watt inverter? Because that's the max you can get out of that 4,000 watts in a 24 volt system. They're not going to sell you a 8,000 watt inverter or a 5,000 watt inverter because they know realistically you're not going to get that out of it. It's it's too much. So that's kind of the lowdown on on what to expect. So if you want to build something, and God, I see it all the time. You know, these people, they buy a 4,000 watt or 3,000 watt inverter for their 12 volt system. What in the hell are you thinking? You're, you're not going to get that. You know, 3,000 watts, where, where do you think you're going to get the amperage to do it and the wiring and the cabling? You know, your cables would be huge. And, and even then, it's, it's too hot. Everything's going to cook. You know, you're, it's just flat out dangerous. So don't go buy a big giant inverter on a 12 volt system. If you want to run more power in your house, and you're saying, okay, well, my, my, I'm going to have the coffee maker going and I'm going to do a load of laundry at the same time. It's the middle of the afternoon and stuff like that. The reality aspect is you can only draw so many amps out of that system. And then you're going to go, well, I have a 4,000 watt 12 volt inverter and I'm, and I'm only putting 2,500 watts on it and it, it kicks off blows off if my fuse is no good my inverters junk you know they oh my inverters junk these people they rip me off they won't do the thing it's not going to do it it's not going to give you the power because your voltage is too low and your amps are too high and you're fusing you know you put a 250 amp fuse i mean that's just overkill right that's just like you shouldn't even be near that but they sell it to you so don't get ripped off by the companies inverter companies are bullshit they shouldn't even make an inverter like that for a 12 volt system so if you're going to do power in your house and, and you see it like what I'm doing here and I have a 12 volt system, runs small loads and I have a 24 volt system, runs my bigger loads because I have a 150 amp fuse, right? So I have a 1500 watt inverter because I'm not drawing a humongous amount of power at any given time. So I have a 150 amp fuse in there. So where am I looking? I'm looking at 3000 watts. And then my fuse is telling me that's enough. That's about all I want to run on that thing. I don't want to go up to 200 amps. So this is the, the lowdown on reality aspect. If you're building the systems and you want to go, you know, 12 volt, just realize that, you know, 2000, 2000 watts is about all you can do. And that's, that's maxing out those wiring. And you better have big cabling. Don't go cheap because then you can have a fire. So a 12 volt system, I wouldn't, I'd, I'd look at that being a thousand watt inverter, right? Realistically, you're not running refrigerators and all that stuff. You know, you maybe 1,500 watts, you can start the fridge and run it because you run a little voltage, but you're not powering a, a huge amount of stuff. That's your small system. 24 volt, I can get a little bigger. I can go up to 4,000 watts, which I'm not going to, but, you know, you can run a medium-sized thing. So if you're going to try and run the whole house, like, oh, I'm running my washing machine and this and that, and the guy's doing a George Foreman grill and everything else, you better go 48. And the only reason is, is these amp draws, not the efficiency. It's not that... Oh, 48, because efficiency between these three, you know, a 48 volt efficiency, it's going to come in at about 94% efficient. And 24 volt, 93% efficient. A 12 volt, 90, 90, 91% efficient. So the efficiency is not a drastic. What you got to look at is over here, the amp draw. It's the amp draw that you're worried about. Not that I'm only got 2% efficiency out of 100 and stuff like that. That's, it's, it's minimal. It's not that. The efficiency that people don't tell you about is the amp draw. That's where your efficiency comes in. Why is a 48 volt more efficient? Okay, well you go down to your max power. The 48 volt efficiency, well yeah, because I have the same battery bank. I got 24 batteries, right? And I got the same battery bank. I have a hundred or I have a thousand amp hours. Well on a 12 volt, your efficiency is you can get 2,000 watt draw and, and you're cooking. 48 volt you can go to 8,000 watts. You're not going to, but you can go 4,000, 5,000 watts and run fine, right? Because look up here at the 3,000 watts. A 12 just failed. 24, I'm running 150 amps. That's a lot of amps. But on that 48, I'm only running 75 amps. My equipment runs cooler. The cabling doesn't heat up. And I can take a bigger draw. That's your efficiency. Your efficiency is the amount of watts you're drawing to the amount of amps that you're using. That's where you break into what your efficiency is. That's where you're looking at your heat and what the system actually can do and will do. All right. That's going to be the lowdown on 
that. So it's just something to help my little viewers out before you run out there and, and buy this. Oh, I bought a 3,000 watt 12 volt inverter and, and, you know, 14 batteries. Don't do it. Just don't do it. You better step it up to a 24 volt because the draw, the draw right there is, that's the proof's in the pudding right there. 2,000 watt draw, 200 amps. Dangerous. On a 24 volt, 100 amps. It's doable. Good. 48 volt, perfect. There you go. All right. I hope this helps everybody explain a little bit to you. Thank you.